ladies and gentlemen. Chad Boydston. His natural environment. Apparently snow babies. selling his snow baby collection this week. We're going to start over here. Here's a preview video for this week's auction. All sorts of good stuff on this table to get us warmed up here. Uh, nice old photos and railroad stuff and gun cleaning kits and oil. Two of the oilers have metal tips. Statues and advertising and nice good auction fodder here to get you in the bidding mood. We'll go over here. Some gold nudie cards in there. So that will group together. Truman, or military stuff, some coins and some choice stuff in there. Bolo ties, turquoise rings. It's kind of cool. Morgan dollars, uncirculated Morgan dollars. Oh, like, well, uncirculated condition. Seem to be anyway. Kind of tells what was going on in history at the time too, so that's a neat piece there. There's a marionette. Big silver plate service set. There is an original Peregrine Honig, Kansas City artist. It's also in you know, famous museums, Whitney and others, I'm sure. That is a, they say Ecuadorian or Guatemalan guitar. It was made out of an armadillo, 12 string. Really neat piece. Knitting needles, a whole bunch of them. 10 string, yeah, 10 string. So there's some more silver dollars kind of framed in there with a certificate, silver certificate. Neat reproduction scrimshaw stuff there. I mean, you're, you're never finding the real thing, so might as well grab onto those with both hands if that's what you're into. Sports stuff there, Buck O'Neill, a monkey playing guitar, some conch shells, um, it's a killer Kansas City A's souvenir plate. Guns and hoses, firefighters versus policemen boxing uh, championship belt. A uh, nice Martin saxophone. Very nice Martin saxophone. Pay attention to the pictures to get more information. Some old toys and more. Door guards from uh, Nomad, 55 Nomad. A lot of vintage sewing stuff, old, old sewing stuff there, which I know a lot of people, a lot of people collect. It's a stereoscope, a bunch of cards and buttons and steins, um, practice grenade, another big old shell up there, display case, hydrogen bomb. What? I'm not sure what that is. Some sort of, you know, made up piece for hanging. Kind of neat. Little pharmacist ashtray. Kind of cool. Native American art. It's a, this is a great auction. Great auction tonight, guys. Or Thursday night. Nice Weller. Um, Louessa. Hope I said that right. More plate. And plates. <laughs> Brass blade fan needs a little adjustment. 
Kindle motor oil slide up sign. That's crazy little music box thing spins around. Beautiful piece. Garth Brooks signed photo with tickets. This is awesome. This, uh, damn it, losing the country. Czechoslovakia. Czechoslovakian canister set there, porcelain. Beautiful. Funny light up mirror thing in there. Some neat ruby red 1899 mark sponge wear. More stuff in there. Pretty nice. It's Andrew Jackson frame piece there. Um, maybe hung in a, in a school or something like that. Neat Tiffany style hanging lamp. Well, that was very nice, but we'll have to turn it off for now. Um, then another little chandelier over there. We we'll go back here. There's like a hand-painted ski, old antique hand-painted ski. Somebody did a good job on that. It could be a pinstriper. This was neat. It, you know, it's not in the best condition in the world, but that's old. Old Japanese um, scroll. Crazy looking Kirk Douglas poster for Town Without Pity. I've never seen it. Another high life piece. Two-handled saw there, neat fall staff stuff there. Truman Mondale, remember that election? That's cool. That's uh, like, you know, cut iron menu, what's cooking there with Cajun theme to it. More Native American, some Star Wars, reloading stuff, part of a neat old sign there, neat old blues and, or jazz photos, there's more of those around too. Yep, there's some more Native American baskets. Couple dolls. So much up here my god and you might notice some of this like a couple of these lamps were here last week and there's going to be some other things too that you'll see that were here last week um you know i don't know what to say hams beer there except you know the winning bitter kind of ran into i don't know some sort of personal trouble but But all the stuff's still here, so hey, we're selling it again. Military stuff, more Jackson County Sheriff. There's like a kimono there and a neat like Honduran or Ecuadorian kind of dress thing. Bunch of quilts, whole bunch of quilts this week, ladies. And other quilt collectors, a lot of them there. All right, now we'll go, uh, what do we do? We, we've been jumping to furniture. Let's go ahead and take a peek at this stuff. Sid might end up coming up. That's freaking killer from a church or something like that. There's an easel and a, a little stand there, an old mirror, headboard and footboard. Great old bike. We'll get a closer look at it. Nice Native American style rug. Uh, I don't know, four by eight, maybe. J.C. Higgins bike, beautiful, rather just regular kind of beach 
Sci Fi. Um, Alright, and then we'll jump to furniture, but there's a nice flat file cabinet, but it's not over with the other furniture, so let's see, we'll I don't know, probably probably jump over here. I don't know, I'll just show you this stuff first. These nice kind of mid-century uh, chairs there with uh, hand embroidered seats. They were, she recovered them and did that all herself. Pretty cool. A couple other like bent wood chairs there. Then uh, some clocks and you know, little stuff there. All right, and then we go around here. Vaughn explaining the consignment process to someone. And I might as well explain it to you while we're doing this. Mondays and Fridays by appointment between 10 and 3, pre-approved. So, don't just show up with a truck full of stuff and say, I want you to sell this on Thursday. Because we're pretty much unable to do that. Asian bench, again, that's one of the things that was there last time. There's a neat table with little naked ladies on it. That's a neat kind of primitive hutch there. Um, this is the Chinese cabinet with the COA saying it is a restored antique gilded wood cabinet. Sorry, hopefully the camera was even showing you that. There's three shelf pieces there. This mid-century shelf cabinet, sofa table, this rocking chair, old record cabinet. By the way, that Victrola put it on top of there, huh? Pretty cool. Um, then over here, we've just kind of mixing it up. Got some stuff on shelves here, like uh, there's like ten of these or so. A big bag of money print, some more original sign stuff, Screenland Crossroads poster, photos, ephemera, neat Asian chess set there. Again, check out the pictures to get a better idea, get the best idea. And some books, some interesting books. Alright. That's a killer old piece there. It's a chest with a mirror. Kind of reworked primitive table. This thing, check the photos. Um, it folds out. It's really, really interesting it took it took us a while to figure out even how to do it but you'll have to check the photos for that we're not pulling it out right now another neat kind of primitive maybe it was built in at one time same thing down there pretty much desk chair it's like a small quartz grandfather looking clock there's little shelves in there a neat chest. You know that sun is blinding it. Another oak chest there. This guy here. Nice new pools put on there. Great buffet. It's a classic bar cart. Nice inlay. A garden chair there. Another little dresser mirror there tea or cane bench there East Lake chair An industrial stool there another nice little sofa type table I guess with uh, folding leaves and some shelves uh, you know from the liquor store or something like that Blue Moon Brewing Company display then that's a nice solid little bookcase there a little vintage kids chalkboard all right, we'll go ahead and just go around the horn here. Yep, there's some Asian pots there again. Those were ones that were here last week, and then unfortunately the 
winning bidder had ran into some difficulties, so here they are. Sorry about that, you know we don't like to rerun stuff, but when it's good stuff and you owe people money, that's what you gotta do. A bunch of street signs back there. A couple of rugs, Turkish, seven by ten. Another old rug, six by seven, six, six and a half feet by nine feet. Tools, 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 tools. Well, nice stuff. Cute little anvil there. There could totally be some, some sleepers here. Because it's not all tools. There's glass and porcelain and ephemera and, and more. There's a great spotting scope in here. tools. Oh, there could be, you know, this could have some tips in there. It looks like maybe it does. You might find some sterling or even some gold in there. I don't know. I, I just don't know. Well, same thing over here. Check that. I'll be going through that. Doesn't seem like it. But those are nice craftsmen there. And then tools on the floor. There's Chad Bottom. More boxes of tools and such there. Tools, 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 tools. Hammer drill. Tools. Tap and die. Painting stuff. Um, over here, some cool stuff. 38 and a half inch tall wooden cats. What we've got there. Nice deer skull. African animal. Chandeliers. Seen better days. Good, neat carved signs. Hidden patter. Sport shop. Lightning rods. More carved wooden signs. Another neat old metal sign. Great windows from the front of an old house. I can't believe somebody took them off, but I guess they probably weren't the most efficient. A couple old doors. Then pallets. You know, everything on here, one money. Bam. 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 A couple of dollies there. Appliance dollies, big bolt cutter, the torch dolly, a nice rug, and all these street signs that are all, you know, construction. I think construction company took them down. They're getting replaced, you know. So it's all like legal. You know, they're like they're not the same kind of signs they use anymore. But that's a neat, that's a neat group of them. Okay, from there, then we'll go over here. Somewhere. And I don't know, this order might change, guys, so just hang loose okay toys vintage stuff newer stuff jewelry looks like some hairline stuff there that's a killer piece there some motor oil and that phone that might end up getting moved straps creeper um, let's go check out this table real quick. Pewter, porcelain, 
knickknacks, bric a bracs, silver plate, pretty looking stuff, blue willow. Mickey phone, old dolls, vintage ceramics, brass, huh, painted that to look like a Coke machine or probably bought it that way, what am I saying? Um, some more vintage porcelain and more, more dolls. These are great. Great books, Air Force book, submarine, submariners book. There, that should be a good, good, good. Should bring good money. Camera stuff. All right, let's jump up here. Looks like SKS or a Chinese uh, ammo pouches there, a neat old stand to something or other, some jewelry, some depression glass, some old medical stuff, there's an old doctor's bag there, a bunch of Pluto glasses, a whole little crate of them there, baseball cards, a signed uh, Trudeau, uh, Doonesbury comic, Santa costume, um, nice vertical flat files, thing there, Native American thing, that old Coke sign there. Somebody messed it up a while back, but still that almost, that makes it cool too. Neat GAR parade, um, old photo, copy hotties. This table here, some Civil War books, tackle box, Nice vintage glassware, milk, milk bottles with the paper lids, some chenille letters, some military stuff, lots of pretty glass, nice old stuff there. Alright, Wizard of Oz, poster, Arizona Bushwhackers, nice signed wildlife stuff, stamps, you know, first day, or commemorative stamps with signatures. Same over there, along with James Dean, Marilyn Monroe, more wildlife over there. These are killer, these little coasters, leather coasters and the leather tray with a embossed longhorns on there. Stuff down on the bottom, a symbol, just a canister of kitchen utensils, an interesting kind of stoneware ceramic type pot there, neat old pictures, a lot of those. Could be Fiesta, unmarked picture there, Eastern Star piece, Asian stamp set there, vintage beaded purse. Um, then over here, uh, this is Meekin. This is H and C Bavaria. Sorry, H and C Bavaria. Forget I'm holding the camera half the time. Those are neat little in engineer bookends in with this baby stuff there. Um, more military stuff. And again, some of this might get moved around a little bit before, but it gives you an idea. Kerosene can. Longer burger baskets. Nice old tins. That's a great little piece there. The TD Rocker. Nice electronic microscope. Man, there's a lot of stuff. More than I realized, which is good. Which is good. Great stuff on this table. Nice old ceramics and glass and more. A few fishing poles. No, the rack is not for sale. I mean, it is, I guess, if you come up with some money. Some neat Asian stuff. Nice uh, 
190th Security Forces Squadron, Native American, Georgetown, Toy Story, Braveheart, Mirror, another mirror there. What the? Big gold Cindy Crawford or something like that. Picture. Uh, reel to reels. A whole lot of them in here. You know, we get the players in a lot, and of course, we get, you know, recorded reel to reels that people have done themselves, but we don't really get too many actual studio reel to reels, so that's kind of fun. And there's a whole lot of them. Just more, you know, patches. And military stuff, and royal, Kansas City royal stuff, and glass, and porcelain. Our man Harry S. Truman. Looks like the Missouri Capitol. The House. Representatives, I think, in Missouri. More tapes. Lamps. Floor lamps. I showed you that stuff already. So now what do we do? Okay, check this out. I mean, there's good stuff. And, and I don't know how this will all go. We might sell this table over here while we're selling the furniture, just because they're kind of neater stuff. That lamp is another one of those pieces. All these ashtrays, they need a little bit of work, you know, but those are great deco for ashtrays there. That's Pyrex. That's an old... Uh, Kino Goose Machine, late 1800s maybe. Great display cabinet here. Two drawers there. Rims. And then this table here is basically stuff that no one has bought in previous auctions and we just group it all together. You know, try to recoup some of what we spent on it. So yeah, I guess that's about it. We'll see you on Thursday.